Hey, Elijah, congrats to you. Uh, I guess, what, what do you know about the Titans? How do you think you fit in? And maybe what they tell you when they when they talk to you on the phone? Uh, I guess I know, you know, a decent amount about the Titans. There's a handful of teams, really only, I don't know, I can count on one, one hand, uh, the teams that I had interest in going into the draft. So I did a little breakdown of their defense over the past year. Um, and funny enough, they were, they were a team that, you know, even from the jump, I told my parents and my fiance, I just had a feeling that I end up a Titan, sure enough. Harry. Harry, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Sorry. Um, Elijah, when you at the University of Washington, were you more of an inside guy, an outside guy? Did you do both? Uh, what kind of roles did you have there? Yeah, I was more inside and I also played safety. So I would switch back and forth. I'd, I'd be I'd be a nickel, um, you know, on, on sub personnel. Whenever we go base, I, I slide back to safety. We should have made the other piece for her. Kayla. All right, Elijah, first of all, I got to say it. Go Cougs. <laughs> Come on. I know, Not right? Uh, hey, hey, welcome, man. I'm always, I'm always loving the Northwest flavor here in Tennessee. Uh, my first question is about Tennessee. What did intrigue you? I mean, you said Tennessee was always one of those teams you looked at and thought you could go there. And then my second part to the question is, how much uh, has your dad just influenced you, and what does it mean for him to see you go um, in the draft? Yeah. First part about Tennessee, I think you know. It was more, um, you know, I, I guess the the personality of the team. Just from the outside looking in, they were always a team that, um, like, I don't know, did it the right way. You know what I mean? Like a gritty, hard nosed team in, in, in front of office. Um, you know, they play they play tough nosed football, and you know, obviously too, like Tennessee's not a bad place to live. You know what I mean? So um, that's the first part. The second part, I mean, ever, ever since I can remember, I, I felt like call to play to play this game and that's you know mostly because of my dad so my first memories are him getting interceptions and and me going in the locker room with his teammates and all that stuff so it's you know it's finally here and um it, it was a moment where you know kind of all along I knew I get here it's just a matter of of when and what obstacles I had to overcome and you know now I'm just I'm super grateful to be a part of this this organization and just get to work on. Yeah, what's up, Elijah? Looking at, at your ability and, and how you fit in with this this Titans team, can you kind of expand upon, you know, what makes you such a, a solid option as far as in the nickel, in addition to outside and dropping single high? Yep. I think, you know, first and foremost, just the way I approach the game, uh, you know, from, from an effort standpoint and from you know, film from a film standpoint, uh, but beyond that, just my, I think my change of direction and my ability to, um, you know, read, read offenses and, and read patterns that makes me, you know, a solid player at nickel and, and also on safety. So, you know, I, I'm not sure where I'm going to play. All I know is I'm just going to, you know, wherever they need me, I'm, I'm going to give it 110%. And with how some of the doubts were put on you, especially people questioned your speed and things like that. Does that put you, put a chip on your shoulder? Do you come into this like really uh, not upset, but like with that, with that chip, with that edge a little bit more? Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm not, I wouldn't say, you know, if you would have asked me this a couple months ago, I'm not really the player to have a chip on my shoulder. Um, you know, I, I'm more play for the love of the game. Um but you know, the last couple months have been challenging for me. I've had I've had some own obstacles, but so you know, I think you know, I will channel kind of some of that, uh, some of those emotions towards how how I approach the game. John Glennon, Elijah, um, noticing in a few of the the scouting reports on you talks about how how strong a tackler you are. Uh, you know, despite the fact you're not the, the biggest guy out there. Uh, is that something that you, you take a lot of uh, a pride in? And, and maybe also what else do you feel like you what do you what are your top skills? Do you feel like? 
Yeah, I take a pride in my tackling. Really, I feel like, you know, in Coach Lake and, and my coaches at UW said, tackling is 80% effort, 20% technique. You know what I mean? I, I never, you know, I never worry too much about the repercussions of, of tackling and, and hitting bigger bodies. Um, and really, I've been healthy doing it. Um, you know, with that being said, it's, it's nice to not have to tackle Derrick Henry uh, in the league. But, you know, in terms of what else I do, um, you know, I feel like I'm just a football player, you know what I mean? And and in this league, you, you need to be able to, you know, to, to have, you know, very good change of direction and good speed. I think I have both of those two, uh, along with the skills of, of defensive back. Oh. Hey, Elijah. Uh, three of the top four corners now here are going to be new guys. I wonder what you think of uh, of the process of, of creating a cohesive group in short order and the challenges of, of, of doing that. Yeah, that's a good question. I think first and foremost, we have to know what we're doing as a defense, um, you know, what we're installing. And then and we also have to know what, what the offense is going to, uh, you know, drop against us. So I think the two biggest things are communication and trust. Um, if you look at the best, the best secondaries in the NFL, they're talking nonstop. Um, you know, I, I have full faith that we're going to get that going. Buck? What's going on, Elijah? I mean, obviously your dad having such a, an impressive background, both on the college level and, and going 11 overall in the a 96 NFL draft. How valuable of a resource was he throughout this entire process, understanding that it may not, you know, be the most conventional pre-draft process given everything that's going on? Yeah, very valuable. Um, he He's someone, he knows what I'm thinking even before I say it, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, he, he's always there to give me little nuggets of, of wisdom and words of encouragement. Um, you know, we, we have a, we have a special bond, just especially when it comes to football. Um, you know, like, like I said, we, he, he was my coach in high school and, and in youth and he passed me off to coach Lake, but, you know, throughout really my own journey of football, he's always been that person in my ear, giving me, give me feedback and, and, and keeping me going. Elijah, you talked a little bit about having a feeling that you would, you would end up with the Titans and, and looked at some of their stuff. What, what did you see? What have you seen? What have been your impressions of, you know, this defense and how they play defense? I mean, I got that initial feeling just off of the interview I had with them, uh, you know, a month and a half ago. Um, seems like our personalities kind of, you know, fit well together. In terms of defense, you know, they're always going to mix it up. Um, you know, they – I think as a, you know, in the league, you have to mix it up from week to week and 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 uh, attack the offense where they're weak at. Um, you know, with that being said, I, I'm just ready to learn the playbook completely and and um, you know make uh make an impact wherever that is. David Beauclair. Elijah, how much did it help you along the way that that you had seen what an NFL life is, what, what an NFL athlete is, and, and how much were you able to sort of emulate your dad on your own journey here? Yeah, tremendously. I mean, with, with him and especially with other people I've been in contact with throughout my life, it's just like the work ethic and the, the approach to the game and, and really to everything in life. Um, I take pride in, uh, you know, every day going about my day with intent and passion um, that's easy to do when you love a game or where you love something like that, the way I love football. So, uh, you know, if I think, you know, if, if a player is, you know, if he loves the game and he approaches it the right way, then everything else will fall into place. Teresa. Elijah, you had the feeling about the Titans, but, uh, did, you know, did how, how many other teams did you have interested in you uh, during this process? Yeah, it was tricky just because, uh, you know, my my versatility playing playing inside and, and safety and also the ability to play outside. Um, my agent told me like 20, you know, 15, 20 teams, whereas at, maybe at a quarterback, you have like four or five teams. So I, you know, I, I went in open minded, but definitely in the back of my head, I was hoping I'd be a Titan. Um, and I mean that sincerely. It's crazy. It worked out the way it did, um, the way it did. I, you know, I know God has a plan for me. 
Um, and I, I'm looking forward to being in Tennessee. David Beauclair. You already got me. I'm good. Ben Arthur. Hey, Elijah. First of all, welcome to Nashville. I'm actually from Seattle, so I, I kind of have an idea of what you're going to be, you know, kind of going through. But um, just what what is it about Jimmy Lake's system at Washington that prepares defensive back so well for the NFL? And what did you maybe learn from the guys that were, um, you know, ahead of you, um, you know, a couple of years, I think like Taylor Rapp, um, guys like that, what did they do, you know, to kind of help prepare you for kind of your moment now with, with the Titans? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really they set the, they set the standard for the DB room at Washington. Uh, I knew going into that DB room that nothing but my best was going to be acceptable. Um, I also knew that I need to get better every every day, uh, every year as well. And, and with Coach Lake, I think, you know, the reason why he's had success putting DBs out in the league, I'm still waiting for one of my old teammates, Keith Taylor, to get drafted here soon. But I, I think it's just because he teaches the he teaches the position, um, you know, not just as a, as, a, as a corner or a safety. He teaches it as one part to a bigger piece of the puzzle. So we really we learn the whole defense, and if you know the whole defense, uh, you know that's when people are able to communicate effectively and make plays. Uh, 